I'm going to show you how to color a cryo-EM map uh, so that each protein has a different color. We're going to use Chim Chimera X. So let me open a map from the EM data bank. And I'll open a PDB file, atomic model that was built into this map, 7LUP. Uh, and uh, let's color the map using the atoms, uh, the color of the atoms. So I'll go to the map toolbar, this toolbar icon that says color near atoms. I click on that. If I hide the atomic model now, you'll see the map has been colored to match. That toolbar button will only be there in a version of Chimera X that's newer than March 2021. So suppose I wanted to save an image of this. I could make the background color white. Let me go to the home toolbar background color white. Maybe I'll lower the threshold level of the of the map a little bit. Uh, I might turn on this soft lighting to put nice shadows. And then this snapshot button will save an image to the desktop. Let me show you what that image looks like. Uh, here it is. So it looks just like what you see in Chimera X. Let me show you two other ways to do this coloring. So first, let me uh, let me change it back to a single color. And I'll show you how to do it with a, a graphical user interface panel. It's under Tools, Volume Data, Color Zone. So the panel down here, it says Color Surface of this map, uh, this EMDB map near 7LUP. If I hit the Color button, uh, we get the same coloring we just had. Suppose I wanted to color um, just one chain, say this purple chain, chain which is chain A. Um, I can sh let me show the atomic model. I'll select an atom, uh, one of these purple atoms, by control click, and then press the up arrow key a few times to select the whole chain. And then in the color zone panel, I'll say color near the selected atoms, and I press the color button. And if I hide the atomic model here, you see our map just chain A is colored. You see the color spills over to the neighboring proteins. That's because of this distance, coloring, this coloring radius. And so I can make a smaller coloring radius so that it doesn't spill over. Okay. Let me show you one more way to do it, the most powerful way to do this coloring, and that is to use a typed command. And you'll see in the log panel above, there's a color zone command. That's what that command was logged when we used this color zone panel. I'm going to just copy that command into the command line. And um, so color zone number one, that's the map near. It says selected atoms. That's what we just did. Let me replace selected. Suppose I want to color chains A, B, and C. I could say slash A, comma, B, comma, C, this distance range. And now we have all three uh, proteins colored. If you want to know more information about this color zone command, there are additional options. You can say help, um, help color zone. And that will bring up the documentation in a browser like so. Uh, thanks for listening. Those are three ways to do the coloring. Remember, you're going to need a March 2021 version of Chimera X in order to have this color zone pa GUI panel or the or the uh, the uh, toolbar entry. The command is in older versions if you want to use just the command version. Thanks for listening.